Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Big Joe Wild Hair. Big Joe, not sure what you got going on here with your comb over. Not sure. Anyways, you see some uh, some vapor coming from the truck. It is the first morning of frost uh, for us. It is a cold, little chilly morning here in Oklahoma. We've got the bison rounded up. We've got Big Joe following me. We've got Marissa up here. It's my uh, manual cube feeder. Uh, that we have. Um, so, <sighs> Big Joe, you got some frost on your hair, buddy. Cape there? Hey man. Hi buddy. The hair's a little wild. Shaggy. Winter coat's coming in. <laughs> You've got quite the flap down there, buddy. You want some cubes, I know you do. We're coming. Oh, don't nibble on my face. I'm getting pretty, Cora. Getting that winter coat on. <laughs> You're funny. Nibble on me. Huh? Arr, arr. Nibble on me. Girl. Come on. Morning, guys. Are you videoing me? Run away, run away. <laughs> you got some company. Here they come. Anyways, uh, we're about to open up a gate here and let this herd into pasture two. It's time to let them out, let them go a little bit. So, oh, Marissa is getting some attention. Big Joe, Big Joe found the cubes, but we're gonna open this for them. They're gonna run through like a pack of maniacs here. Okay, buddy, we're moving.
All right, you ready, ready to be the cube feeder? Yeah. All right. Big bucks running through here. How do you tell? Uh, the basically, the bigger the tree. It's not a very big tree. Yeah, but for a <laughs> buck, like if he rubbed on that little tree, he's not as big. Not the fact that he picked a big tree and he whipped it up pretty good means more than likely it's a good sized deer. And this is him basically marking his territory? Yeah. So. So you need to get a deer cam out here? Probably. I had been doing some skid steer work, so I left my ATV down in the pasture. Now we're gonna go check the 32 cow. Okay, right, so what we did was uh, yesterday morning, we came out and we checked the herd and we didn't see anything uh, from the 32 cow. Did our normal herd check. Still hadn't had a calf, and uh, I know we've been getting worried about her. So, checked them that afternoon, still nothing. I forgot what we did. We went and did something, and then I was like, hey, we need to go check her one more time. And so, we came out here in the dark, which is not always my favorite thing to do, but I just had this feeling that she's going to have this calf. And so, me and Marissa and Brooks drove my truck out here. It was getting cold. It was wet. And so I just had this feeling we wanted to come out and make sure that uh, she hadn't had the calf. And sure enough, we come out here, I don't know, it was just after dark, we came out here and That's good. She had the calf. Was perfectly fine, normal, away from the herd, all by herself, which is expected, and that's pretty normal. So, I see here we're getting some good video of her uh, 32 cow with her new baby. So, this is a Big Joe baby. Last year, she had a calf, because I remember that she came from Texas. Um, she had a calf last year, and she was bred to the herd bull that she came from in 2021. And then she had the calf in 2022 and July last year. And then this year, uh, she's been, she's been with big Joe the whole time, uh, that she's been at the Ponderosa. And so this is a big Joe baby. It was a decent sized baby, not huge, not small, but, uh, just an average size calf. And they're about, these red dogs are about, oh, 30, 40, can be 50 pounds somewhere in that region. I'd say around here, they're probably about 40 ish. Maybe I'm not sure what it is. It's a cute little thing though. <laughs> so happy and uh, much relief basically whenever the kind of the issues that we've had and i've been talking about lately and she's been getting so big and showing the signs for a long time we knew that she was very very close like any moment she could have a calf and then sure enough we went and checked her last night and have a fresh calf everything is good right now with her and the 32 cow is a great mom she's uh like i said she's a special She's a special cow for sure. Success. And this should be the last red dog of 2023. Shouldn't be having red dogs right now. And some of the bison rancher people out there are going, why are you having bison right now? Well, you know, that's just sometimes things happen. And uh, which, what that means now is her cycle will be pushed back even further because right now, <laughs> right now, um, she could come in heat in a month or two is what's crazy and so if she got pregnant in december that means she could have a calf in 
what, October, we're back to the same thing again, which is not ideal for bison. Most of the time, they get pregnant in July, early August, and then have their calves April, May, June. And December? Yeah, that would make sense. She, she would have been pregnant in December and uh, had the calf now because it's about the uh, duration is nine or 10 months. I say the length of a, a woman. So doing awesome, healthy, full of hair and better be full of hair right now because it is, uh, it's getting cold here. It's not super chilly, but it is a little cold and it's that time for that winter coat which all the animals right now are getting their winter coat on so we'll keep an eye on it and make sure everything's good these animals are built for the cold they're built for these conditions and we've got a bunch of rain lately which is a huge blessing um, right now we just rotated them in pasture two and they're doing their thing out here got a little bit more room to run and roam so pasture three pasture three my bad yeah we just let them in pasture three Holiday season is around the corner, guys. And if you've never tried, guys, you can try our 2.5 ounce bison jerky, 100% bison. Doesn't have a lot of moisture in it. Guys, this is old school strip jerky. It's so good. It's a uh, beautiful, beautiful jerky and it's seasoned perfectly. Don't want to eat it all, right? See all this goodness right here? Reseal it up, eat it later. So what you're getting here is 100%. This is a premium meat. There's only four cuts of meat that we use on our jerky. All comes from the rounds, but there's only four specific cuts of meat to get this right here. And if you love this kind of jerky, guys, you can check this out on our website. We do have some jerky packages that you can get, but you can add on to this to any order that you want. You can try it right here, 2.5 ounce bag, only at crosstimmersbison.com. I do want to clear something up about our grill here. I know we talked about Cora being um, being able to be ridden at the age of two. And um, I just want to say that that doesn't mean we're gonna go full time on this horse at two years old, okay? We are gonna start riding her at two years old. That doesn't mean she's gonna become a full ranch horse, get after it, everyday grind horse. So I want, I hope, you know, a lot of these horse people got real protective of her and uh i'm not a horse guy I, I will admit that i'm learning to try to be one sulfur uh, this area is a big horse um country and uh, there's a lot of cutting horses raised here and stuff and so i've talked to a lot of horse people that i've just known all, all of my life here and um i think that uh you know from their expertise and their knowledge um we can start riding her at two and some people may not like that and Guys, that doesn't mean we're going to ride her hardcore eight hours and nine hours a day and work her. It's going to be just ride to the back of the property and back probably, which is not huge. It's not a lot uh, of travel for our girl here. So with that being said, I just want to make sure that people understand we are not getting after this horse at two years old and cause any problems to her. Of course, we wouldn't do that. We care about Cora. She's actually Brooks's horse, really but we uh, are excited for her to be our horse. Also, we have talked about getting another horse and I know people are pretty particular about their herd animals and stuff. And I want you to know that dog right there spends more time with Cora. This dog, Maya, spends time with Cora. She's around the bison, she's around the chicken. She sees us twice a day. She gets a lot of company, I promise, guys. Um, She's happy, she's healthy, and uh, someday we'll have another horse so Marissa and I can ride together and not just have one horse. So we will do it eventually, and I better throw Maya the stick or she's gonna be mad at me. Keep wearing me out. Nice, Maya. Hard working, doing what you do best, grazing. Woo! Finally got some of this cold weather. Had to break out the vest. Got the felt hat on. Cora's getting her long hair going. Man, it is awesome to finally 32 had her calf. The summer we've had, you just can't help but worry and wonder what's uh, what's going on. But you know, she just is unique herself, obviously, and. Um, 
she she just likes to uh i guess show us those signs for a long time and that's okay um the main thing is is we got a healthy calf i can't identify it quite yet can't get very close but i will be able to soon heifer or bull it doesn't matter it is a healthy little calf marissa and i are excited to have another red dog and uh, that makes 12 for the year um so we've had 12 total red dogs this year 10 in the big joe herd and two with the dunbar hoss herd that kind of surprises that will probably should close out for um 2023 now when you look at it next year with the Haas and Dunbar females and all of them, including our adults here. We could have like over 35 calves next year. Next year is the year where we should have our biggest calf crop ever at the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch as being a uh, bison rancher. So it's pretty exciting. Next year we could have our hands really full um, by next summer. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.